additives in the diet of cattle, keys to improving the use. Feed additives are used in cattle feed with the firm purpose of guaranteeing optimum health, performance, and nutrition. The additives do not provide fat or protein, but they do help the food that is supplied to the cattle, be it forage or pasture, since when these are mixed with additives, the cattle assimilate them in a better way. Sometimes these additives contain minerals, amino acids, or vitamins, which have been found to have deficiencies in cattle. Additives in cattle also fulfill the function of controlling health in cattle, since they mitigate the massive presence of pathogenic germs in the intestines, which prevents diseases such as diarrhea. Approximately 80% of the production and the biological activity of cattle depends on what happens in the metabolism since these cattle, through the rumen, convert milk or grass thanks to the support of additives, which work as modulators of microorganisms, which act in the beef, which as we said before, do not act in nutritional matters, but in the degradation of the fiber. When we refer to additives, we refer to elements that help the cattle diet to contribute to the functional process in the body. When referring to the term supplementation in cattle, we refer to a nutrient that has been detected to be deficient in cattle, whether the deficiency is in the pastures supplied, the additives produce in cattle a physiological effect in the rumen, so that the cattle can make a better use of the nutrients. One of the main functions of the additives is the contribution of amino acids, enzymes, and vitamins, all this with the aim that the cattle producer can obtain the best weight gains from the cattle, since with the additives, it has improved the feed conversion of cattle, which in turn translates into better quality products, whether milk or meat. It should be emphasized that when there is an imbalance of microorganisms in the digestive system of cattle, there is low assimilation of nutrients, which is demonstrated by a decrease in milk production, due to lack of appetite. When cattle are given forage naturally, they carry out a process called fiber degradation, but if there is an imbalance in that population of microorganisms, it is when the additives come into action, since they potentiate some microorganisms, so that it can be present a good control in the ruminal environment, and in this way take better advantage of the fibers, produce a greater fatty acid and degrade them. Antioxidants are used to preserve food and prevent oxidative alterations of vitamins. Something very important is that synthetic antioxidants can be harmful to humans. For this reason the recommendation is to use natural substances, for example, cinnamon or clove oils, green tea extract or rosemary. It is worth noting the sources of tannins in the diet of cattle, these can be supplied in tree species such as oak, acacia and legume hay. In the fields there is also the presence of native species, rich in secondary compounds and metabolic which plants use to defend themselves from harsh environments and some animals. We can conclude that natural additives also play the role of minimizing the incidence of vaccines in climate change, thanks to the fact that they reduce the expulsion of methane, which, as we all know, is very harmful to the ozone layer. <laughs>